Hello everyone. Um, I'm recording this in the evening because I have had so many problems with the Oxford uh, online version of my teacher's book. Um, so forget about the practice. Look, <laughs> that's not working at all uh, for me. So if it's not working for you, don't be surprised. Unfortunately, um, I've only got this online version of the book to show you. So um, there's not very much I can do when the whole Oxford website goes down, but we're on page 54 and 55, which is the next part of the book. Um, the recordings, of course, for you are on the website if you can get them. The good news is after all of the listening that we did last time, this time it is reading, okay? So again, this should be a fairly short one. Um, and it's all about people who, uh, not people who stay living with their parents until they are 30 or something like that, but a little bit more about people who, uh, when they finish studying or something like this, they go back to living with their parents and they're called boomerang kids. Um, so let's have a look. I'm going to get rid of my uh, myself because, as I said, it's the evening now. So, um, yeah, uh, I haven't got any Hollywood lighting. There's my... Uh, lamp of some sort in the background so i'm going to close that now let's get on with it uh yeah now um reasons why does children stop living with their parents and why are parents too glad to get rid of their kids um you can think about those ones but um yeah we're going to read the introduction about boomerang kids you know what a boomerang is what's a kid old okay to flee the nest this is the past of uh fled okay um empty nesters it's all about well you can imagine that can't you okay and what causes these people to boomerang so have a think about that okay and here's the introduction who are they they are the children who just can't or won't leave home or to put it another way they are kid olds in their 20s or 30s who boomerang back home having previously fled the nest in the UK, more than 3 million 20-something still live in the family home. It's a trend echoed throughout the world. Well, actually, in this country, it's quite new. Um, I get the feeling we had a little discussion a bit like this, and I think I told you I, I left home when I was 18 to go and study, and I never lived um, uh, back in my parental home uh, again. Um, until, in fact, until I was 39. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, that's quite a long story. Anyway, right, let's have a look. Um, so we're going to read about Julian and Amy, and I want you to think about um, what these people did when they left home, why they moved back, uh, what they like and what they don't like about being back home, um, how they feel about the other people in the house, and what they think the future holds for them. You can't compare it with anybody this week, hopefully next week. Um, so, yes, we're looking for um, Ju the children, Julian and Amy. OK, so I want you to read this one. And also this one, of course, I don't want you to read it at that speed. Read it in your own book. OK. Or if you haven't got your book in front of you, press pause. And press pause again. Okay. Um, yeah. So this is the children's perspective. And we still say children, even when somebody's grown up. Um, and I'll put up those answers for you in five, four, three. They're up already. <laughs> oh, hopefully you know when to press pause now. Oh, this has been so stressful trying to get this uh, this website up. So there we go, all of Julian's details. He gets on well with his parents. Uh, he doesn't pay rent and his mum still cooks and washes for him and his brother. Ha! Yeah. Uh, mum gets on her nerves because she's always tidying Amy's things. Amy's mum has a new boyfriend and she thinks he doesn't like her. Um, he's going to study opera and sing in Don Giovanni and she's gonna save money um, but the store that she works in is going to close. Yeah, that was uh, a prediction of what would happen this year. Okay, and we'll go on to part four uh, in the next video. Okay.